Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Witcher 3. So, not with that, you didn't even say please. Um, so, what we're doing today is we're going to go talk to Zoltan, because we're still on the hunt for Dandelion. We've talked to all of his ladies, and a lot of them have pointed us towards his sister slash niece, who is blonde. How are you keeping, Bobby? Monsieur Zoltan, you What's this? Have they Ooh, even drunk your water? Naughty bird. Now repeat. Savory crackers. It's an owl. Uh, it won't. It won't speak. Anyway, let's talk to Zoltan. I've heard he also maybe has a Gwent card for me. Ah, you're back. You met Poppy. She want to start talking any day now. <laughs> Zoltan. Venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. Awesome. But she have a record. To talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Ooh, Priscilla. Who is Priscilla, for those who don't know? Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how'd Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. <laughs> what can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? A laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Alright. Poetry time. Hey, Zoltan. Zoltan. Geralt! You have a, any, yeah, he's got Gwen. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna thrash him at Gwen. Round of Gwen? I never refuse. You're gonna regret that. Let's play. Seems I won. Get absolutely BM. Give me your frankly amateur deck. Here, take this card. You need it. Wow. You'd do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame a good dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Mmm. Someone's a wee bit salty, Zoltan. Just because I've got a 100% win rate with my new deck. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Meet Zoltan at the Kingfisher Inn after sundown. Maybe he's, uh, maybe the salt factory is closed at that point. Oh, yeah. I did BM a little towards the end, you know. I ended up beating him by about 50 points. But that's just, you know, that's just Gwent things. Alright. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Oh, she's just drunk. She's not dead. <laughs> What's up with these people? It's just me, Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of all things monstrous. Nothing works up a first like business. Alright. I guess we're sitting down. Bandit! Ah, oh, it's sundown, oh, of course. Oh, Alright, while we're here, <laughs> let's talk to uh, Olivia. Of service. Well, I've already got your uh, rare card. What are you so serving today? What else have you got in here? You got nothing I want. Alright. We do have the uh, prize winning saddle, don't we, as well? Superior racing saddle, I think. Eh, it's just the same. I kind of prefer the Nilf Guardian set, to be honest, so. If it's the same, but this one sells, might as well sell it. And the same with these. 
Any junk? Yeah, we got some junk. Boop, boop. I did have more junk, but I figured I might as well sell it when I was doing my uh, Gwent runs and things like that. So most of it's been dealt with. And you won't take any of that. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna uh, meditate until sundown. See you later. Let's just like stand dead center, proper in the way, and meditate. Oh, can't do that right now. Got to go outside then, I guess. Hopefully nobody's screaming their asses off. Sundown, please. Thank you. Alright. Let's head back in. Don't know how we didn't pass him on the way in. Ah, here already. Oh, Come go. on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. There she is. Oh. The room's just gone completely silent. Maybe I should do. Shh, starting. This one's called uh, Tuning. It's, uh, it's a very old Asian tune from uh, China, I've heard. Hmm. It's a bad joke. It's one of my friends. <laughs>
That was lovely. That was really good. Uh, <laughs> Geralt's been taken in. Standing ovation. Yeah. a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Saved your ass. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come Wow, that is gonna keep biting us to over to and over. Music. Cultural capital of the world. The fuck it is. <laughs> that woman. Can I murder her later? I'm hoping so. She keeps. Permits me to introduce uh, this year's Prisoner, known also as Calanetta, as lovely as she is talented, and this is Geralt of Rivia. I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't Why? be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. <laughs> Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Oh, it's a secret. Oh, I like secrets. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. <laughs> if trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a flora once. And laid awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Hmm. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the king of beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. I'd be in deep then. Hmm. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. All right. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. 
Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And I suppose I'll wait. You do that. Alright, so. Looks like we're heading off to the back house. Oh, we leveled and we got two points. How long have we had that extra point? Hmm. Quite some time, I'd imagine. Well, let's put one in strength training. And maybe upgrade one of these as well. Exploding shield. Are you already... Oh, you're already full levels. All right. We could add some alternative side sign modes. Creates an active shield, maintaining it and blocking it. Acts, attacks, drains, stamina. Damage absorbed by the shield restores player vitality. Ooh. Targeted enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 20% more damage. That might be quite fun. Hmm. I don't know. We don't really oh, we do have a spare slot, actually. We can have a new skill. A new skill? Wouldn't that be nice? What do we want to put the new skill in, though? I suppose if we got another sign or another uh, combat perk, we could move one of these browns, or both of these browns, down here and make more use of this mutagen. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Igni sign to melt armor, maybe? We do use Igni a lot, so I guess we might as well. What's this one down here? Fire stream emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. Hmm. I think armor damage is probably a little bit better. So, we want to put that here. So we get sign intensity plus 40%, nice. And then we move the cat skill armor down here instead. And if we want another perk, we get another combat perk and we put it in place of gourmet and stick it somewhere. We get another at 22, 18 we get another slot. Okay, our next slot we get ourselves a mutagen slot so we can get ourselves a decent green mutagen I guess and have that be our alchemy slot. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let me just check the quests, because we might... Hmm. Question Reuven about Dandelion's disappearance without raising any suspicion. Well, we've got to go do both, really, haven't we? I don't think we've got any side missions to do, although we should check the map to see if the notice boards have lit up. Let's have a look still this quest down here actually I might go down there and start that one yeah that sounds like an idea we'll get back to uh, finding dandelion but first let's go get ourselves that quest all right and head down to Benek it's right next to the uh fast travel point anyway, so I feel like we might as well go and see at least what it is. Maybe we can go pick up that uh, that money from that guy who was, is it, in three weeks. Right. Hello, old man. It's not you I've come to see, though. It's uh, Refugi. You going north, master? Oh. Why do you ask? Well, I thought you could see if anything's happened to our men. They've been gone a while. Let's talk about my pay, you my refugee reward. person. How do you want to figure it? Oh, uh, we well, we thought that I, you, you're owed for your trouble. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy. Thought he was getting it for free. Down the middle. Uh, I don't know, don't know. Could you drop it a bit more? A little bit more. Let's go to 90. Uh, I don't know. 280. If that suits you, excellent. Wonderful. What do you need? What do you need? Merchant caravan came through not long past. Hired some of our boys to guide him to the bridge. They were due back yesterday. Fine. Keep my eyes open. My brother Tomil led him. Talk to him when you find them. Clever man. Not like the rest of them, eh? All right. Oh, wow. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit out of our range, actually. As it turns out, level 23. We do have a lot of really high level stuff. Right, let's go. 
see if we can collect on this Swamp Thing quest. Because I feel like we should be able to get our money by now, and I think he owes us a lot, doesn't he? Well, let's go to the Orphans of Crookback Bog. Sure, why not? I wonder if those crones are ever going to turn up again. Hmm. Alright, so... Let's uh, bust a move in this general direction. And go see if we can find that individual who is making a thing. Oh, hello, Brian. Let's try out our Eh. Yeah. Take our leave on that one. Yeah. Stop hitting me. This guy got me going. Problem solved. I'm gonna leave the drowner stuff alone. I'm sure we got like 9,000 of it by now. I truly do not need it. Alright, there he is. There's his hut. Still working on the same bit, Leslie. Leslov. That's crazy. Hello. Witcher. Greetings. Got my money? I want my coin. Where is it? There. Take it. Twice the sum, as agreed, I keep my word. Sure, second time around. Never mind. Thank you and farewell. Awesome. Tons of XP. Quest completed. 560 gold. Worth it. Alright, let's go to our fast travel point again. Yeah, alright. Actually, he's already pointing us there. Good. At some point, I kind of want to try one of the quests that's uh, a little bit heavier on the levels. Not necessarily like the level 20 stuff with the skulls above their heads, but something that's close, but not quite skull level. A true challenge is what I'm saying, and I want. Oh dear, we've picked the right spot to drop here. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, we need to pick what quest we're going to be doing. Let's see, main qu secondary quests. Hmm. We could do the Black Pearl quest, I suppose. And then lead into the Nithing. Win a unique card from Vernon Roach. Do we even know where he is? Apparently, he's over there. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna go see him at some point then. That's the thing. Alright, let's go. Let's go do the Black Pearl mission. It's a piracy quest of some sort, I think. Right, we do need to go to the Skellige Isles. Oh, it's so far away. It's so far. Uh, maybe not. What do we do instead? Or maybe we do. I'm, I'm a little torn. Which contracts? Let's have a look-see. Like, these don't have skulls above them. I'm inclined to go do a Mysterious Tracks level 20 quest. I think we can handle that. And if we can't, we can always back out. So, we need to go talk to the Hunter. In Lindenvale. Let's do this. Let's, let's probe into how difficult this is going to inevitably be for me. What? Another one? Be gone! You witches are trouble. Village has suffered enough. Mm, Ruffians what? to him. Ye deaf? Be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witches coming from? Where? I'll tell ye where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. It's not a witcher then. Awfully noble of him. Thought so too, at first. Said for pay he'd take something I had that did not yet know about. Then he left, and here the door swung shut behind him. Me last started wailing. What's these tears, I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horsen. Go on. Fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. 
Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, hmm. and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. Psst. Oh dear. If he's really a witcher, you don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of you and we'd be lost. But this one, he beguiled me daughter, rutted her neath me own roof. That I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. Hmm. Which you wanna be? I guess that's what we're doing. Somebody Let's go have a word with this so-called witcher. See what he's got to say for himself. Hanging about in the graveyard, eh? Up we go. Parkour. There we are. Looks like we're not alone. Hi, ghoul. Come oh. on. And you are dead. Alright, no problem at all. Use your witcher senses to look for the charlatan in the cemetery. Oh, there's his tracks. I just want to read the, uh, read this. Oh, I think we've already been here before, haven't we? We had a grave hag or something like that. Interesting. Is it, girl? Looks like footprints to me. Oh, there's our witcher. Thank you, thank you. You came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style. It's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're... You're the real thing? A witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where'd you get the medallion? I bought it. From a traveling peddler. I'll... The villagers are coming. Don't tell him about me, please. I think I'm gonna. Monster slain! Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Only one witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Ho. Oh. We've lost for this kind. Special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. You're welcome. On my pay. Ought to take him to the village elder. Of course. Elder can decide what to do with this scoundrel. Last cheat came through. Fellow pay him with shaved coins. We lopped his hands off. I'm sure your elder takes care to make the punishment suit the crime. Ought to start by taking his sword, tossing his medallion in the fire. Farewell. Hmm. Get ripped. Good points. Alright, we got nine experience. Wow, that was so worth it. Alright guys, well, I think that's actually where we're going to end off today's episode. I do hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as well for more Witcher content in the future, as well as other stuff, of course. And if you want to get notifications when those videos go live, you can hit the little bell icon right next to the subscription button, and that'll give you notifications when they do go live. I do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.